want an old-fashioned girl. I want an old-fashioned girl. Hi, welcome to Stick It In Your Pie Hole. My name is Heather, and this is a show where we make pies for your pie hole and drinks for your drink hole. And I go ahead and assume that those are both the same hole for you that they are for me. For our first episode, I'm going to be making apple pie, and to go with our apple pie, we're going to be making an apple cinnamon martini of my own invention, which, fair warning, does involve mixing vodka and whiskey, so if you can't handle mixing your liquor, then I really don't know what you're doing here in the first place. Take our shaker full of ice, one ounce of vodka, one ounce of fireball whiskey, oh boy. One ounce of sour apple schnapps. This is not a naturally occurring color. Put our lid on. Give it a good shake. We pour it out. We're going to garnish our glass with a wedge of green apple. There we go. Ooh. I need a real mixer, you guys. One stick of cinnamon. Oh, there it is. Got it. Here we have our apple cinnamon martini. Just give this a taste. Oh boy. Oh, smooth. So first things first, preheat your oven to 350. Ta-da! Once the oven's on, uh, you want to line a nine inch pie dish with a pie crust, whether store bought or homemade, doesn't make too much of a difference, and set it aside like so. Next thing we're going to do is peel your apples. Now for apple pie, the apples are crucial. It depends on what you like. Personally, I like a little bit of tart, so I tend to go a little bit heavy on the Granny Smiths. This time I'm going to go half and half because I'm going to put that classic American pie, the sweetest pie. It's just my personal recommendation. This thing's amazing. That's a drink and a half, let me tell you. Cut your apples into slightly smaller than bite-sized chunks. Some people prefer slices. Personal preference. Personally, I prefer chunks. Because I like it when people bite into my pie and go, wow, that's the perfect mouthful. Ooh, apples are super juicy, you guys. It's okay. I'm used to getting juice in my face all the time. Occupational hazard. My first time was kind of awkward. I didn't really know what I was doing. And you know, it turned out kind of messy. It was a little gooey. But you know, it's still good. It's still good. Definitely edible. And my roommates really liked it. So, the first time I made pie. Hi, Daddy. Oh, and I thought these Granny Smiths were tart. Once you have your apples chopped into slightly less than bite sized pieces, you are going to add one quarter cup of cornstarch, a one half cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, whoa, and one teaspoon of orange zest. Some people say you shouldn't compare, compare apples and oranges. I say why not, you know? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm really quite drunk at this point. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And last of all, one packet of gelatin. Mix this all together. This is super easy. If I can do it drunk, I can do you sober. I mean, I meant. All right, so once you have your apples well coated, you're going to retrieve your pie crust and pour the apple mixture into the pie crust. And we're going to set this to the side, this side to be exact, in a separate bowl. You are going to put one stick of butter, one cup of flour, one half cup of firmly packed brown sugar. So you have these mixed together, you're just going to get in there with your hands, mix it on up. It's one of my favorite things about getting, nope, one of my
my favorite things about baking is getting your hands dirty. And for me that also includes my clothes, my face. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but someone's got to get drunk and make pie. Because otherwise, what is the internet for? <laughs> Why are we all here? Alright, so what you want to have ultimately is red crumb-y-ish mixture. Doesn't matter if it's a little lumpy. Uh, once you have that, you're going to bring back your apples and put the crumb mixture on top. So once you've covered up your apple mixture with the crumb crust, we're going to stick it in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Cheers. It's in the oven. Do whatever it is you do. I'm gonna drink the rest of this. It really is a tasty drink. They say... Use a sloppy bitch. That's what they say. Hmm, I can recite pi to two digits. 3.14. That's three, three digits. digits. <laughs> Pretty and smart. I know, right? Right? <laughs> that is one tart apple. Three, two, one. Here we have our apple pie. I do highly recommend using a glass pie dish because it will let you see a little bit better how well the pie crust itself is baking. But yeah, let it cool for like an hour and then taste it and drink. Or drink and taste it. Or do both at the same time. Who the fuck am I to judge? Nobody. That's you. Where did the apple on my glass go? Did I eat it? <laughs> Stick with your pie hole, people. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Join us next time. We'll be making pina colada pie and a pina colada not a colada cocktail. Bing. Bing.